a daily unboxing video where today we are looking at Mage Lang, which is a small little game. But let's hop right into it and see what this game is all about. So here it says that this game is 1 to 4 players, about 60 to 90 minutes, and 14 and up. And then the little background, I guess, of the game is Unlock the Power Within. Take on the role of a young mageling as you embark upon a perilous quest to save the eternal Evertree. Yeah, ignore me. To save the Evertree! Use custom dice to activate spells, relics, creatures, and allies as you battle the dark forces of the Tempest in five unique locations. You will need all of your wits and maybe a little help from your friends to overcome the challenges of your journey and prevail in a final showdown of arcane sorcery. Cool! So let's open this up. It's also, honestly, I think it's a very long game for how small this box is, but I don't know. Maybe it's going to be really interesting. Let's mage -ling. So let's open up this game. The very first thing we see in here is the rule book that tried to jump out at us. It has some really weird artwork on the front here. So inside you got some more background, very tiny print, so very tiny, like look, oh, gotta zoom in for you to see the background yourself. And then here you got components, standard game setup, more setup, and then you got more setup here, and then your spirit crystal, ooh, blurry, your spirit crystal has five basic sections, and then it tells you the sections. And here on the side it shows energy and mana, gameplay overview, you got the roll phase, finesse and five school of magic and the runes, action phase, and then it shows these little different actions, it shows a card with a die on it, scroll and spirit effect, It's a lot of rules for such a little game, spirit card sections, scroll card sections, and then here you got spawn tokens, Damage tokens, location card sections, refresh phase, and then an example turn here. Like I said, this is very small, small wording. So I guess they tried to fit as much as they could in the small rule book, so they made the font smaller. And here you got contest mode, changes to setup. Then you got the end game, and then before playing contest mode, you may read the following, and then read this really, really long story here. Very long story. Then you got a co-op mode, changes to setup, and then here you got the co-op gameplay. Here you go. And then some more, and then before playing in co-op mode, you may read the following, and then it has another story that you can read. And then, so there's just a lot of story that you can read in this. Then here you got the credits because we already reached the last page. In the very back, which shows the turn phase is, and then the symbols. So that's the rule book. Inside, underneath, we have the little stands for something. We have purple gems. So here we got like the light purple ones, because there's dark purple right underneath. So here you got light purple, just a standard gem thing. Put those back in their bag. Zip. There we go. And then we got the dark purple ones here. So same thing. Except they look a bit smaller. So these are actually like small versions of those crystals. Very small, very cute. Let's we'll put those back in the bag. Put those back in. Then zip. Then you got a bag of bags. There you go. Here you got some cards in a bag. Huh. Or it's a card. Oh, these, I think these are Kickstarter cards. Because it showed on a sticker, Kickstarter edition includes two exclusive cards, location cards. So these are two of the cards, I'm guessing. So you got the Grimthorn Forest and the Evertree. And then we also have these deck of cards that we can open up and look at. And then, let's see. Let's try to open up these cards. So inside the cards, you have here Spirit 
crystal actions, and then on the other side, basic actions. So, got the spirit crystal actions, basic actions, is both sides of the, the little reference cards. Here you got some location cards, I'm guessing, because they show different places. Then you got, ooh, that's kind of cool looking. You got the back of this card. Then here you got some cards here, the Aetheral, Aetheral, I think that's Aetheral Mist. I'm just going to pretend that's how it is. Keep going with it. Gain one gem for each other activated special type of scroll. And then you got like other different cards. I like the art in this game. It's very, oh, look at those. Tumble puffs. Uh -huh. So you got all these. So I'm guessing these are like, this is a yellow spell or special, whatever that is. Blue spells. And then so here we go. Green spells. Lots of different cards. Different artwork. So far I haven't really seen any same cards, so everything's different. Here you got a Reaper. You may discard one card from the Nexus for each die set to a uh, skull thing. Okay. So more cards. Ooh, Amber Wolf. Like I said, I really like like the starry look of all the cards. Like they kind of look like those star things. I don't know. But it's really cool. And the coloring's all kind of the same, and it's nice. I'm still thinking of those little puff balls I saw, which were adorable. And then here we got some more cards in here. We got two piles of cards. Yee! So let's open this up. So we still got that same back here. Here we got some more locations. The Evertree. And then the Cloud Chamber. Oh, I should... Oh yeah, it's just more Grimthorn Forest. The cloud Chamber. And then, I don't know what that is, but it's creepy. So here you got the Acidia. Scion. Exther. Exther. And Otar. I don't know if these are characters you're playing, or if you're fighting against them, but there you go. And then you got some more cards here. I'm not sure what these are, but they're really cool. Like Lacrucia. Location 5, the Cloud Chamber. Enter, gain 4, that symbol. Global, focus, that symbol. To choose a player to gain or discard the other symbol. And here we got some more cards. Yeah, ooh, bolt. Okay, well, like I said, I really like the artwork. Very nice. I'm still not entirely sure what you're doing in this game, but... Very cool looking, and lots of symbology and stuff in here. So here we go, some more cards. Is it Infinity Stones, anyone? Except I think there's six instead of five. Yeah. And then a Boomerang. Zora. Acolyte. Just more cards, more effects. So these are the yellow spells that we didn't see from the other pile. Then we have a little bag of dice right here. Let's open that up. Oh, these are like these are special dice because they have the different symbols and stuff. These are nice. Making sure they don't scratch off or anything. But there you go. Like I like how each side is a different symbol. So I got the really nice and the colors kind of pop out too, it's really pretty. Put those back in their bag. Perfect. And then here, we got little player cards, I'm guessing, with like points or mana or something or other. They're very small, but there you go. And then the other side is the exact same thing. Then, the last thing we have in the box is some punch out boards. So here you have like these little tokens, you got some characters, plus 20s, and then the purple tokens, and I'm guessing these are the damage tokens. Here's the other side of the people. So if I punch some of these out, you're going to take a look at these quality of these pieces. So they're kind of thin cardboard, but they're still durable. That's good. And then for the cards themselves, which I forgot to do earlier, they're 
normal quality cards. And there you go. So that's everything that came inside this very busy game. So that's today's daily unboxing video of Mageling. I'm Melody, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.